Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I feel like I need to give you guys a hug because I feel like you're my people. Like you clicked on this video, you guys must probably like designer handbags like me. I know it's weird, it's weird. I started my channel like almost four years ago and it was all about designer bags which it was kind of embarrassing, honestly, for people outside of my life. But I feel like a lot of you maybe understand me. I don't know what it is about a good handbag, but I love it. So today I wanna share the best handbags under $1,000. We've got a whole price, I mean, we've got very lower all the way up to just under $1,000. Don't get me wrong, $1,000 for a handbag is a lot. Like it's a lot. And a lot of you might have absolutely no interest in that, which is totally understandable. Yeah, but I still love this video. I do it every couple years. Um, so everything that I share will be linked down below in the description box. And we've got a huge range. We've got like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, YSL. We've got, you know, even contemporary designers like Coach, Tori Birch. We just literally have a bag for everyone. So let's get started. Okay, so I have teamed up with Senrev for this video, which you may have seen or heard me, you know, share some of their bags in the past. I've been carrying them for years, but they have recently launched some new handbag designs and styles. And there's two bags in particular that I personally love. Like they are beautiful and so functional. So I think you should at least consider them. Um, so the first is this Armonica crossbody bag, which even like just looking at it, it is so beautiful. It's like elegant, but also edgy. Like it's just beautiful with this croc embossed vegan leather. This is 100% vegan. So all of their bags are made in Italy, extremely fabulous craftsmanship and luxury. However, this particular bag is 100% vegan. Um, but let me just go over kind of the design of it and how it really is so functional. So it does have this long strap, which is great for your shoulder or as a crossbody bag. So there's four ways to wear this. So that's one, two. And then if you actually pull the strap here, it instantly turns into a backpack, which can be really, really convenient. And it just totally changes up the style. And then if you notice, um, it does have have this top handle so you can wear it on the crook of your arm or you can just kind of grab and go. So I love that about it. And then as far as the interior, it does have their classic micro suede blue interior. It's so soft, but if you notice, it actually holds quite a lot. This is not an overpowering bag, but it fits so much. And there's different compartments in there. There's one specifically for a tablet or whatever you want. Um, there's like a pen holder. There's this little key ring thing that you can attach your keys. And then one of my favorite parts is this secret compartment right here. Uh, it's kind of hidden in the back and that's actually where I put my cell phone. So anyway, I've had this for uh, almost a month now and I love it. Okay, so the next center of bag that I have been reaching for like crazy is this a Luna crossbody bag. So not only do I love the style of it, the color, this is in their chestnut color, which by the way, all of their bags have so many different color options and leather options. This is actually 100% genuine leather. So it's not vegan. Um, it's also made in Spain. So I just did check on that. So this is made in Spain. Again, like the same factories as like the high end luxury brands that you're, you know, very well aware of. But anyway, I, I love it also because of the four different ways that you can wear it. So I think that's mainly why I'm drawn to their bags. They're stylish, but there's just options with the bag. So again, a crossbody shoulder bag and instant backpack. Um, and then the opening and closing is a little bit different. It does just have a magnetic closure and then a zip compartment here. So let me just open it for you. It's really easy to get in the bag. Um, it has, you know, just a main compartment, a little flap here, a zipper compartment as well, and then a card holder back here. Oh, and I'm so excited about this. I did get the extra add-on strap for this bag, which you don't have to do, but it's a really cool option. It's, you know, kind of like a fabric strap, but it just looks so nice. You can remove that leather strap and, and snap this on and then wear this as like a shoulder bag or a crossbody and it's just, it's so stylish and cool and I love it. <laughs> so I will have those Senrev bags linked down below along with my code. It's just kind of a long withstanding code you can always use. It's just Shea and you'll save $50 on an order of $300 or more. And you can also check out their bestsellers. There's the Meister bag that I've shared countless times. I have it in many sizes. Okay, so I probably should have told you this at the beginning of the video, but I actually have a Gucci unboxing to get to in this video. I might do that next, but I first wanted to share this YSL 
well clutch because it kind of reminds me of the first bag I showed you with the Croc embossed leather. Look at that, it's so pretty. I've had this clutch for quite a while now. It's still available. It's way under $1,000. I think it's like 625, which again, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. You're kind of just paying for the brand YSL. Over the years, the price increases have kind of just gone insane. So for a regular YSL crossbody or just any bag really, you're paying usually at least 1,500 to 3,000. Um, but this is way under 1,000, so I love it as like a little clutch for an evening out. But then also you could throw in a few things and then also throw it into a tote bag and kind of you know use it that way too. So there are different ways you can wear it, but you're kind of paying for the YSL name. But regardless, it's stunning. If you are a fan of Fendi, I'm also going to fly on the screen two different Fendi clutch options. Fendi is another brand that I personally really, really love. You guys might as well. They are very, very expensive, but if you are in the market for a clutch, I think these two styles are beautiful. Okay, so we're on to the Gucci unboxing, which I'm just very excited about. So this has been sitting in my dining room for the last few weeks. I even started taking the ribbon off and then I was like, no, Save it for the video, Shay. I knew this video was coming and this is under $1,000, so I just thought it would be fun to do it. So I don't know what this bag looks like. I've been wanting it for so long. I don't even know why, and you'll understand in a minute. So let's just open it. Okay, so it's right here. This is this is the bag. Um, I'm kind of interested on in the size of this. So, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is the Gucci. Ophidia shoulder bag, which, okay. I already have an Ophidia bag from Gucci. It's just totally different. It's a lot more dressy. Um, I'm thinking about selling it. I just don't really carry it that much. Um, and this, I am just so drawn to because of the long strap. So it's adjustable here. You could wear this as a crossbody. Um, you could wear it over your shoulder and make it a little, you know, shorter. Um, but really, I'm just super drawn to the fact that it holds so much. Like, let me just whip this out. This is just massive. Like you can throw so much in here and just like throw it over your shoulders, kind of like a messenger bag. And I personally just really love this classic red and green Gucci line here that you see on so many of the, even the older bags, but they kind of brought it back. So this bag does come in at just under $1,000 at 980, which I just feel weird saying the price is because it is expensive, but it's Gucci. And it's really, really, really hard to find a good sized Gucci bag for under $1,000. And this to me, I mean, this, this is where it's at. I mean, this holds so much and I just, I love the style. Okay, so this is the bag, which I know a lot of you, I'm sure are like, this is so much prettier because of the gold chain. And yes, I agree. It's just, mm, it's just deceiving. It, it, it really doesn't hold that much at all. And it's like a vice grip to get into like genuinely it's like it's just it's just ow see it's not practical okay so now we're gonna get into a couple contemporary designer bags that i love so if you were a fan of that gold chain on that last gucci bag that you saw i highly recommend this tory birch eleanor convertible crossbody bag so this is so pretty uh it's so so pretty tory birch herself this is like one of her favorite bags that she's ever designed it's one of their best sellers i did get it in this pretty burgundy color you can get it in black and cone cognac and beige, uh, but it's just so much better in my opinion than that Gucci one because it does still have a magnetic closure, but it is so much easier to get into the bag. It does hold a decent amount. It's, you know, a, a lot of crossbody bags that are, are smaller. It's not gonna be crazy, but it does fit your essentials and it, it, it snaps so well and it's just really pretty with this gold chain but it's also convertible which is really cool so you can pull up on it and actually turn it into um, a shoulder bag too so really it's it's just versatile it's a very versatile bag but just stunning to look at i mean honestly it's beautiful okay so i think you guys are gonna really like this next one too it is by coach which you know coach when i was in high school was just all the rage and then they kind of went in a little slump and i just feel like they have come back really strong i've been saying that for a couple years now but i bought this a while ago when i was really getting into the baguette style bags um, i have another one to show you from fendi soon but this one is by coach and i love again how versatile it is because of the different strap options. So as you can see, this first one is the perfect drop length to wear on your shoulder with this nice baguette style, but it is removable as well. So you don't always have to have this strap. And then it also comes with a longer strap, which again is also removable and it's also adjustable. So you can adjust it to fit you perfectly for your height. Um, and then if you notice, it does have a flat back here, which is like perfect for my cell phone. And then there's a 
C here for coach, and then you just open it up. It's a magnetic closure, and there's two different compartments and then a zipper closure here in the middle. So it's not huge, but it is actually pretty long, so it does hold quite a bit. Okay, so up until this point, I have shown you bags that I purchased new, um, all under $1,000, but sometimes there's some styles or brands that are, it's just gonna be way higher than your price point. So in that case, I do recommend going the pre-loved route. So this is a Fendi baguette bag. I love the Coach one. I just I just really wanted a Fendi version. That's kind of what like got me down the path of just wanting this style bag. This was really popular years and years and years ago. So this is vintage, um, but I did find it pre-loved for around like 800 something. So this is something definitely to consider. This is really stylish right now. And again, I feel like there's a lot of bags that you might have your eye on and you might be able to get in fabulous condition and save hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Likewise, this has to be in this video. This is a Louis Vuitton speedy bag. To me, it is the most classic bag of all time, at least in my opinion. Now this is the bandolier version, so it does come with a long strap and I've recommended that version for years, but I just wanna be honest that in the last year, many years. I've actually not used the bandolier strap. So you can get this bag pre-loved. I recommend Fashion File, not sponsored or anything. I'll link them below, but you can get the speedy bag under a thousand dollars if you happen to be interested. This is the Demier Ben print. There's also the monogram print. And obviously the price point will depend on the condition, but the Demier Ben print does uh, just kind of look better long-term because all of the leather is treated. But to me, if you want a classic luxury designer bag, go for the speedy bag. This is the size 30, can't recommend it enough. Chloe is another handbag brand that I love and almost all of their bags, you cannot get under a thousand dollars except for this one. So this is the Chloe Mini Marcy crossbody bag. I know I have a thing for this color. I know, I know, I know, but there are so many other color options. And this one is just, again, really easy to get into. And it's, it just, it holds, you know, it's a, a normal amount, I guess but it just has that classic equestrian Chloe look to it. So this next bag I don't actually have, but I still wanted it to be in this video because I think it is so pretty and it's by Stella McCartney, which I just love Stella McCartney. That brand also is very animal friendly, completely vegan. Um, but this particular bag, I love kind of like the Stella McCartney perforated logo, but it also is versatile in the fact that it's kind of like a satchel, but it also comes with a removable strap. It comes in black as well, but the the color I'm showing you is this really creamy beige color, which I feel like would just look good with everything. And it's under a thousand dollars, but it also holds so much. So those are my personal picks for the best designer handbags under a thousand dollars. And let me just tell you that this video was a lot harder to make than it was years ago because of all the price points just going up crazy high. So don't forget about my Senrev discount code. You'll just save $50 on your order. And I feel like out of all of the bags, that's kind of like the best bang for your buck. But I also really loved so many others. There was just a lot of different bags at different price points and different sizes. So consider subscribing if you happen to be new, giving this video a thumbs up. And with that, I will see you in my next one. Bye.